What's up YouTube? I'm back and I have a tutorial on how to make this lovely padded iPad case. I fell in love with Julie G's bag, so I tweaked it by adding a liner, padding, and using smaller jeans to fit the iPad. So to make this bag, you'll need a pair of girls size 3 or 4 skirt or shorts. Half a yard of a liner fabric. The zebra print that I used is the $2 really cheap cotton that you can get at any store. A large sheet of paper and a marker so that you can trace the outline of the bag. The usual suspects, scissors, pens, matching thread, and you'll need some foam. This is what I used. If you're using a sewing machine, I recommend heavy duty needles because you're sewing denim. And a zipper. Mine was a 14 inch all purpose zipper. One more thing about the jeans, if you have to buy them, take everything you want to stick inside the bag with you to the store and try them out there because you know how sizes vary and also you may want to put a keyboard or two cases inside the bag with you. So since it's a custom made bag, take it all with you, try out a couple sizes and see which one works best for you. So step one, you're going to flip the skirt inside out, pin it across the bottom and then sew it closed. You don't have to have a sewing machine to make this. But if you do, you might want to set your machine to zigzag so that you can add a little more structure and support to the bottom of the bag. I believe my seam allowance is a quarter of an inch. Okay, so to make the liner, you're going to take the bag, put it on whatever paper you have, and trace the outline of it. And now you're going to have a pattern. Take that pattern, pin it to your liner fabric, and then cut out the liner fabric. I used a half an inch seam allowance to sew the sides and the bottom of the liner. Trim the excess. Now you have finished your liner. Voila! So now we're ready for the foam. What you're gonna do is you're going to take the pattern that you made for the liner and pin it to the foam and use your scissors to cut that out. I laugh because y'all, I killed this foam. I used a serrated knife and I tried to cut it in half, um, it just didn't work. So you'll see, take one, didn't work. As if it wasn't bad enough the first time, y'all, I had the nerve to flip this piece of foam over and cut the second half and it was horrible. Um, there's a big hole in there, I um, it sliced unevenly, you'll see, yeah, you see right there. So third time is a charm, I had to start from the beginning with the second sheet of foam, I laid the pattern on top, and then I cut the outline out. This time using the scissors, I cut the foam into sections, and then from there I took the sections and I sliced them in half using my serrated knife, and it worked so much better. The foam was even, guys I'm telling you, it was a thing of beauty, it was nothing like the first two tries. Once you get all the foam cut out and sawed in half, you're going to lay it on top of the jeans and using a needle and thread, you're just going to attach a piece of the foam to the jeans. You don't have to sew all the way across, you're just using a little piece from each segment of the foam to make sure it's connected and attached to the jeans. Voila! Now make sure you flip it over and do the other side. We're almost done! So, once you finish with that, you're going to flip your bag inside out and smooth the foam down. Now when you look inside, it's going to be a hot, jumbly mess. So you're going to take a marker and mark any pieces of foam that are overlapping and stopping the bag from laying flat. 
Once you do this, you're going to flip the bag wrong side out and then you're just gonna cut wherever you drew a line. Now you're gonna do this a couple times. You're gonna flip the bag right side wrong, wrong side right, and keep drawing lines on any piece of foam that stops your bag from laying flat. Anything you need to cut, you're taking measure of it and you're cutting it. When you think you've gotten it right, try your iPad out. Yay, you survived the tutorial. All right, so we are on the last step. You're going to take the jeans and you're going to turn them right side out. And you're gonna take your liner and you're gonna turn it wrong side out and fit it inside of the jeans. Pin your zipper to the edge of the bag and unzip it. And sandwich the zipper in between the liner and the jean. And as you're pinning the zipper between these two fabrics, you're going to take the top edge of your liner fabric and you're going to roll it down one time. Basically, you're trying to create a nice clean edge. You don't want that frayed cut edge to show. You want to have that nice hem that'll give your bag a more finished look. So when you zip up your bag, you definitely don't want your liner fabric to get caught in a zipper. So make sure the zipper protrudes beyond the liner fabric. Basically, you want it to kind of overhang or to be higher than the liner fabric so that it's not in the way. So keep that in mind whenever you're pinning, make the zipper higher than the fabric. the very last step. So before you cut the zipper, you're going to pin around the entire perimeter of the bag, zip it up to make sure it zips properly, the liner's not in the way, um, load it up with everything you want to put inside of it, zip it up again, make sure you like the bag because this is the last step. Once you've tested it out and everything's the way you like it, then you're going to go ahead and cut the excess zipper and sew it up. Make sure that as you're sewing, you remove your pens. It's super dangerous to sew over those. All right, zip it up and zip it out. I finished my first tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's an awesome bag. It looks really cute. I get tons of compliments. It makes a great gift or a great Christmas item. So I hope you guys make it. If you have any questions, please let me know. And I think that's it. Thanks for watching.